how many great grandchildren are there that you know of? I mean, uh, from Henry I Morgan. Pro probably <laughs> quite a lot, you know, probably. <laughs> I mean, there are 10 in my immediate family. My mother and her two sisters, but among them had 10 children. Um, I just find it fascinating that you are, are this bit book you've written and you, you said it's only been in the past 15 years or so that you focused in on this. Uh, it's, it's like you have a, a, a connection with your great grandfather who you probably never knew. I did meet him. Oh, okay. I did twice or oh, once. Wow. No, I think once, maybe just once. And he gave me a present that I'll never forget. What was it? What was it? Yeah. <laughs> what was it? It was a Japanese doll. It was about two feet tall. It was in a glass um, sort of showcase thing, you know, but it was about six inches wide and she was dressed beautifully in silk, traditional Japanese clothes. And I proceeded, I was much too young. I was given it when I was two or three years old. And I proceeded to, it was put away in a closet till I was older, I suppose, but they, my parents forgot about it. And I pulled it out of the closet and pulled it apart. <laughs> you just played with it, right? <laughs> I did. Um, so your great grandfather knew Talat Pasha personally. Um, I suppose their offices were down the hall from each other or on the same compound in the sublime port. Uh, from him, and he wrote his, his memoir or his, his journal that is available. Um, from your, just from your words, what were his impressions of Talat? Oh, he thought Talat was a very remarkable person. <clears throat> um, a very strong character, uh, charismatic, pretty ruthless, um, full of energy. Was he frustrated with the United States? I mean, he would report back. Yes, he was because, oh, my great grandfather was frustrated and so was Talat because Talat wanted the um, information about the insurance policies for the Armenians they killed. And the insurance, somehow they were not given up to him. So he was frustrated with the United States. And my great grandfather was frustrated as well <clears throat> with the failure of the country to come and protect, do more. Um, he was a lone voice. That actually brings me to today's events. There are those in Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh who are surrounded by countries that some, some of their allies are enemies of the United States and some of their enemies are allies of the United States and the United States is this great world power. Um, and do you think there's anything the United States can do uh, in this situation? Under Mr. Trump? The furthest he keeps away from it, the better. You, you know. <laughs> 